Oh, yeah. We're going to be throwing over to our Bahasa counterparts as we march into the Land of Dawn. But for you guys watching at home, welcome. This is game two of Blacks International versus RRQ Hoshi. Look at this mirror start here. Baby Alien, Albert starting here as well, Wise. So, again, we can expect the early game to be very similar? I think so. Both teams will just be trying to get their mid lane shoved in, get the jungle to start rolling, and now Lancelot against a Fredrin, right? Lancelot is very strong, a lot of ultimate potential, but nowhere as oppressive as a Fanny in the early game, nowhere as much mobility. So maybe Blacklist can get a bit like a foot in the door right now to ensure that in the mid game, they can actually get more success. Well, my Venus already using the Aegis right off the bat, but I think it should be just in time for the turtle fight, right? But it's gonna be a Blacklist International, right? Moving towards the gold side of the map. You wanna make sure that Scarlet doesn't get the farm, make sure that Oheb gets enough pushing power. Oh, Ooh. the flicker from Haji there. So uh, that's off timing, yep. at least for this first turtle. But then again, if game one is any indication, they're gonna take their time with this turtle. I'm expecting at least maybe a purple delay play from Albert and Again, Wise is also taking his time, so we'll see if that timing falls into a place. 30 seconds until this first turtle spawns. That 1v1 between the glue and the Lapu Lapu, we've seen it so much here at M4 so far. I'm thinking, what's Clay to steal? Oh, Albert coming in. No, Ooh. I don't think there's anything you can do. Hanji just goes into, you know, pigeon farm, just fly away. It doesn't really matter. He doesn't really care. Doesn't really care, but right on the top side, you can see RQ pressuring the other side of the lane to oh. try and make sure during the turtle take they have a lead. But even R7 now already very dangerously low. But oh. Clay gets smacked with the appraisal's wrath. That damage, though, I wasn't expecting that. I was like, okay, uh. I think I think he should be okay. Clay was playing with fire there. I mean, if you were standing in front of Wise to get enough stats to trigger yeah. appraiser's wrath that quickly, oh, this Lord is just free for blacklist. He seems to be a free Lord. Turtle. <laughs> oh, turtle. We're jumping the guns right here, ladies and gents. We're exactly. Jumping the guns Deja right vu. Here. That's <laughs> what it does, right? Deja vu. We're ready for that late game already. But fortunately for both teams, the jungle has been relatively safe. But I have the feeling at level six or seven, that is about to change. Both teams understand that in the mid game, they have their own relative weapons in this fight, right? Blackness has sustain and RQ has burst damage. So we'll have to see how the execution plays in. As Edward actually disrupts Albert yet again. Oh. Haji going in for the airstrike, gets cancelled by Bin for now. It's going to be Bin that got stuck on three people, but Bin will not be able to survive for now. It's going to be Clay leaning up towards, I'm not sure what he's going to do, but at the same time, there's a fight happening. Oh. Albert actually using the Bandai execution to die on away, but Edward will be able to follow him. 2v1 here, Agent Zero walks away with impunity. No punish from RRQ Hoshi. Blacklist already a thousand gold ahead here, three minutes in. A lot of uh, outer turret shields here taken out, so that means gold for Oheb yep. up top. 3v3, who's gonna engage first? Oh, both are skittish to do it. Mm -hmm. Both are skittish to do it because I think both don't really have a solid engage tool. Okay. Right now, it just seems like that is the oh, play being made by Vin. Oh, that's a lot of damage coming up from Vin. At the same time, it's going to be Oheb oh. is actually healing. The torn apart memory doesn't do any of damage from the side. Oheb at the same time, Oheb will actually try to push forward. It's by oh. that Oheb, been the more that he could chew. He has to fall for his greediness. The uh, Filipino sniper gets punished hard there. Arashi, you were saying. The blessing of the moon god is getting stolen by Clay. Allows him to sustain through the feather yeah. airstrike. And afterwards, it's just too much okay. greed. But it's going to be the same story for Blacklist. Bin, man, Bin and Vosh, it's like the same thing. But technically speaking, if you combine those two fights, but hold on a second, Wise. Oh, oh no, he actually catches the taunt on top of Scala, and he'll be no more. It's going to be Edward picking up a double kill at the same time. Arsene oh. coming in for the flank at the same time, but we're not able to find anything for now. Blacklist stabilizes. It's a 5v4 situation with the second turtle spawning already. Still 2k ahead. Blacklist International, Wise pulling it away. Yep. Arashi, is this going to be a problem? Because I'm looking at RQ's lineup just now. I just noticed it's only Clay who's dealing magic damage. Uh -oh. I mean, Vardin has a lot of <laughs> magic damage, but on the note of damage, that is R7 getting taken out as well. Later on, it's going to be very easy for Blacklist to itemize against RRQ. And right now, it seems like they're having, they're having problems all across the map. I think Albert is having a lot of problems. That is not a statement right there. Oh. Using the Thorn Rose, Edward possesses the machine. This is just a tough situation for RRQ. Everyone on the side of Blacklist are just too tanky and they're abusing it right now. Wow. They're standing in front of towers, but yep. look at R7 going in alone. Going alone is indeed the damage reduction coming in, but here comes another one for the side as well. But oh my is actually healing. Haji is actually landing a fire on top of the drop of RQ. It's up to Scott and trying to clean up. Fire oh. coming in with the hunt and will be able to pick up the double kill at the same time. Now all my has to run.
run away. They're trading two bodies for a push down bottom, and the queen stands alone. Arashi, tell me what is this going to do for the economy for Blacklist? Are they going to maintain this lead, or was that going to bite them in the behind later on? That seems like a bad decision. They have um, still a, a quite a big lead. They're able to get the tower in the bottom side as well. But of course, if they keep trading kills like this, eventually the team with the better late game is going to win. And I can't help but feel that with a carry on your team, right? It's going to be very scary trying to deal with him in the late game. Of course, Ka Haji on the far side can just zone away Skylar in these big fights. But we've seen how chaotic the fights can get. So Blacklist needs to be very careful and make sure that they don't let RRQ get anything back. Yeah, man, Arak are doing what they can because this is Lancelot's debut. Vin, oh, oh obliges. Oh, the big burst, not enough. And unfortunately, we're going to all head. We'll be the one that takes up in. Training for the Roma for now. RRQ, it's going to be actually Clay that trying to heal up Skylar, but Edward's coming for the flank. He's looking for the food, and he's going to go into a split split. But all have snipes him down. Two for one. Oh, my Venus falls. I'd say with Turtle 10 seconds away, you have Clay out of the picture here. Blacklist has an advantage. It's a huge advantage, and now Albert, he might try and go for a flashy play. Is it worth it though? There's so much burst damage in the hands of Blacklist, it's gonna be very risky for him to even try anything. He might just be forced to let it go, but Edward will not let him go. Something to note as well, in the roughly seven minutes that this game has elapsed, Arak Yoshi have not pushed a major objective yet. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of damage coming over to Edward. He's just really trying to breach his first skill at the same time. Why is Hans going in? Albert was not able to find any form of entry, but Vin may be the one to be able to do that. But at the same time, it's going to be all have actually take down the top side as well. Edward just really trying to time. He goes in the space as well, but runs into Edward as well. But Haji, he's flying Ooh. over, but not in just in time. The turtle will still get secured by Blacklist, but that's not enough. RS7 looking for the engage. Why? It's going to be a slow little collapse coming out of Blacklist oh. International. Haji, better airstrike going in. Oh, have snipes down Clay, and they're trying to push mid lane. Maximum range, torn apart memory there from Ohem, but popping clay oh. wide open. They're gonna convert into, is that a, that's, yep, that's grass that purple, he that's stole it. Purple stolen by Wise, and of course, we saw earlier the turtle was stolen as well. This is a disaster coming in for RRQ. It's simply to be just losing their way. They have no idea what to do, and Blacklist are just getting stronger and stronger, and with the range available, torn apart memory and feathered airstrike, RRQ, they're in a difficult spot right here. This is literally Blacklist telling me, hey, I'm not the problem, you're the problem. I'm banning away your fanny, I'm banning away your leg. My composition is solid, this is that statement. Yeah, no, they've converted these Ube engages into map presence, into siege balls for Haji and Oheb. Again, the Brody has to clear waves the old natural way, right? But with Oheb, again, as you say, Ooga Booga, I wreck turrets. That's what they've been doing here, which resulted in a 6 game gold lead eight minutes in. That's the macro play we've been talking about. RRQ, they don't only lose the objective, they lose members taken out by Blacklist, and they lose the tower on top side as well. And Blacklist are trying to push the tempo here, trying to make sure that the jungle is not Pinch, safe. The but the the been going in for the back line at the same time. Oh, that's really trying to peel, but here comes the heal coming up from Clay. And also, oh my goodness, it's wrong. It's going to be Haji. They go right in the back. Spikes, the Fed Ashley will be able to take down Whoa. one member the side RRQ. It's going to be wise to take down Clay at the same time. It's no an unfair trade in the favor of Blacklist International. Two for none, and boy, oh boy, they have eyes on this mid lane tier two. Lord, level one, 10 seconds away from spawning. I must say, I love Clay, right? But I love him more when he's playing heroes with massive range. He made the farce work earlier. He had the range advantage. He knows when to hook. But with the Valentina, you have to be in your opponent's faces. And if you're facing off against Black International with 7k ahead, it's not an ideal situation. If you're a squishy character right now, oh, no, 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 the fight. Ooh. Oh, the fight ensues as well. Vin managed to catch Haji for now. It's going to be, oh, my goodness, they take the R7, but it's the same time. The oh. damage coming up on Ohem. The door to bar memory coming out. We'll be able to enforce Vin into a body bag. Arashi, you were saying if you're squishy, this is what happens right here. Exactly. Burst damage coming in from all directions. Even Edward can, de can delete you if you're too careless. And if you're not Clay and Skylar and Albert, they are all squishy and they are powerless to try and stop. Blacklist from taking these objectives. Did, did you see just why soloing that Lord on his I did, own? I did. I mean, it was off cam, it was on a small little screen, but yeah, I did. Yep. The world did. Let's just 
how dominant Blacklist is right now. 9k gold lead. We saw that they had an advantage in the previous game, but not like this. Look at the items right here. For Haji, with the Divine Glaive already prepared, that's a lot of burst damage. And if you are trying to just melt down this Ed Edward on this blue, there's just not enough items. Potion Sight and Golden Staff done for a Skylar it won't be enough to just break through the Dominance Ice and the Tikiras as well. Everyone across the board, say for Haji, has physical damage reduction. So that's why RQ Hoshi's engages are all the more, I guess at this point, trivial. It, it's so hard mm -hmm. to, to find the finish. I think the biggest problem is that if you take a look at uh, Clay's item, right, that is not a very good item if you are Valentina. Right now, Clay needs to try to steal the fair to airstrike because Haji could always walk up and just basically zone it up. And here he goes. It is going to be RQ that's really trying to defend. Skylar at the bottom side clearing it out. The Lord is actually getting killed all oh, very, very slowly. Skylar living on some damage. Blacklist, they touch and they, they go. They've already taken the prize. Good news, bad news. Clay has a feathered airstrike right now. Yeah. Bad news is they're inside their base, so they can only really take advantage of it. It's a win-win for now. But if Blacklist can find that engage again, Wise has been their initiation like this. And there we go. The Feather Airstrike going in at the same time. It will oh. not be able to control. And crowd control and deny. The Feather Airstrike is going to be Blacklist taking down the bottom lane turret at the same time. Four member left. It is going to oh. be Wise leading the pack. Trying to charge. Albert trying to look for some play right here on the scene. But no, I'll be able to find it. And now, oh, I mean, it's actually going in with the ultimate. Desperately, Blacklist is in a portable fountain. They have two base turrets, and now they're going for the third. Try to air taking wow. again, again, and RQ, they are forced to respond. But every time it happens, it's just the wrong response. R7 now taking very low, and Blacklist, they're looking for the end, possibly. Oh no, that's ults and battle spells spent by RQ Hoshi. They're gonna have to defend. They have to defend. This bin is already here as well. Wise is already taunted as well, but Alba's looking a little bit uh, torn about memory. doesn't able to connect. It's gonna be Blacklist, but there is no minutes. That one way marching down, a slow march as Clay. The battle of the battle, airstrike. Oh, Shaman trying to make a play. We're going to be able to fight. Oh, Shaman will not be able to do so because Oh, Shaman is desperately healing the bar. The core is getting back into the bar. That is international. They are giving a statement. But Skylar, mega kill. Oh. Shuts down Edward. But look at the core. The HP is slowly. The defense coming true. But Blacklist International, they are still healthy. 3v4. RRQ Hoshi. Three kings standing. Down goes Clay. Make that 2v4. Can they defend it? Oh, that, that it's just Skylar. It's just Skylar and RQ. Blacklist International takes game number two. The curse has been broken. The streak ended. Blacklist International's first victory at M4 against an Indonesian team. They double down and use the same exact draft, and they get it done. I assume.